Before we move on, I'd like to cover relations in more detail. And again, relations in the SOLIDWORKS environment are just geometric constraints. They're a way to geometrically constrain sketch entities and other forms of geometry. First, let's start with coincident, which is just a point touching another point or a line or an arc. I can make this point coincident with this point and now the points have to move together. These two points are coincident or they have merged is another way of saying it as well. I can do this with a line and a point. And here I actually get the green co coincidence box which means this is a more intentional mate. This isn't an automatic mate that SOLIDWORKS applies, but it's more intentional and I can delete this mate at will. So this point has to be either on the line or in line with the line segment. You see how it's always in line with the line segment. As if the line segment was inf infinite. It has to be either on the line or in line with the line segment. This is also can be true for points and an arc. With this point coincident with this arc, the point has to be always on the arc or in line with the arc, which in this case it's a circle so it has to be on the circumference of the circle. And if I delete the relation, I can move my line ag ag again at will. Now let's look at midpoint. The midpoint re re relation just makes a point at the midpoint of a another line. So for this one, I'll go to Add Relation in the Sketch tab of the Command Manager. I'll click on this point and this line. And then I'll click on midpoint in the property manager. This point now is coincident with the midpoint of this line. This point has to be at the midpoint of this line. There's no way I can move it to say otherwise. There's no way I can move this to make that point not coincident with the midpoint. Notice how I make it longer and the first line readjusts re -adjust to the new midpoint of the second line. It's always at the midpoint no matter how small or no matter how big this gets. Now let's look at let's look at a parallel relation and this is very similar to AutoCAD object snaps. So if I go to add relation and I click on both these lines I can click parallel right here to make the lines parallel. I click the green check mark and then start moving one of the lines. No, notice it's staying parallel to the other line and vice versa it has to be parallel with that line. I can do something similar with perpendicularity. I can make these lines always perpendicular to each other by going to add, re add relation, clicking on both the lines, and then going to perpendicular. These lines have to be perpendicular to each other now. These lines have to be perpendicular to each, e, e, each other. If I move one line, it stays perpendicular to the other, and vice versa. Let's look at concentric, the concentric relation. This has to deal with arcs. This has to deal with arcs. So when two arcs share the same center point, they are concentric. So let's investigate what that looks like. I'm going to go to Add Relation, click on these two circles, and make them concentric, right here, concentric. Now they share the same center point. If I move these arcs in any way, they will always share 
the same set the same center point I'm trying to move them I'm changing the size the location of the center point they are consistently sharing the same center point and there is the green box for concentric I can also I can also make these arcs tangent to each other if I go to add relation click on the two arcs or circles and click tangent they become tangent to one uh, one another and let me do a better a, a example there that wasn't the best example so let me set this at 1 and this one at 0.5 what did I do there we go whoops I clicked the wrong, the wrong one so I'll click I'll put this at 0.5 and now I will make them tangent to one uh, one another and again I want to add relation clicked on both of the arcs now I'm gonna click tangent and I need to get rid of something what do I need to get rid of It looks like I've locked their center points. Display relations. I don't see any. So here, I'll just make two new arcs. Or one new arc. So if I click on both of these arcs and then make them tangent, they then be, become tangent to where no matter how I move them, they will always be tangent to one another. I can move one, I can move the other, I can change the size. They are all they are always tangent to one another. I can also make these circles equal to one another. I go to add relation, click on both of the arcs or I can also do a green selection window just like in AutoCAD. If I click on equal right here it makes them equal to one uh, one another so no matter how I, I move them now they will always remain equal to one uh, one another. If I change the size of one the size of the other will change. Now these kind of look like pairs of glasses. If I put a dimension on this one, say I make it 1, the, uh, the other arc changes too. If I then go ahead and change it to 0.5, the other arc changes too. This, these relations become very important when trying to keep the, de the design intent of a model that you are, mo that you are modeling. You can also make two lines equal to one uh, one another. I can click on both the lines, press e press equal and now they are in equal length. I'll press the green check mark to confirm the relation and if I if I change the line length and let's just say I put these together if I change the line length of one the other one will change with it because they have to remain equal to one another. And last but not least, let's look at collinear, horizontal, and vertical. Horizontal and vertical are pretty straightforward. We, we have explored those a little bit already. If you click a line or a point, this can also be a, uh, two points, and, and say horizontal. Notice I'm in the quick access toolbar here that automatically pops up when I click on a sketch entity. I get a list of relations that I can add. I also get my property manager over here where I can add a horizontal relation. If I click horizontal, the line then becomes horizontal and now I cannot 
bring it out of the horizontal. If I click on this line and make it vertical, now it must be vertical at all times. I've just made a right angle here. I can do this with points as well. So I want to add relation and I did these two points right here. These two center points. I can make these horizontal and they get in line with each other on a horizontal. Say I took that away and made them vertical. If I added the ver if I added the ver the, ver the vertical constraint, let me confirm that relation so that I can move these around. They have to remain in line vertically. It is beautiful how we can do that. We can also make lines collinear or points collinear. Say I wanted these two lines to be in line with each other. And say they weren't horizontal or vertical. I can go to add relation, click on both lines, and then say collinear. It puts them in line with one another. So now they cannot be anything else except in line. You see how they're lined up with each other? There is no other possible way for them to be except collinear with one another. And that is the relations in detail.